Ever wondered why most kids resemble a parent, or perhaps both parents, quite strongly? The same applies to offspring of other species around us. Well, let me tell you a bit about Mendelian inheritance, and then we may be able to answer some of those perplexing questions with a bit of science. Firstly, let us take a look into the building blocks of life. Our cells. No, not, not those cells. A human cell. Inside the cell nucleus, humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Why pairs, you ask? Aside from the possibility that chromosomes might enjoy the occasional tango, it's because one of the chromosomes is inherited maternally from the mother, and the other paternally from the father. There's no dancing involved, I assure you. It is on these chromosomes that you find genes. No, not, not those genes. The molecular units of hereditary. Genes determine almost every aspect of an organism, from hair color to height to the shape of your earlobes, you name it. But wait, chromosomes come in pairs. That means you have two genes that code for a single trait. That's right, and they're called alleles. So to recap, you have pairs of chromosomes, which have genes. Variations of a gene are called alleles. Now we get to the interesting bit. Alleles can either be dominant or recessive. Dominant alleles are always expressed. Recessive alleles can only be expressed if the corresponding allele is also recessive. So there's no dominant allele to override the recessive trait. All right, let's use an example to help understand this better. A mother has blue eyes. A father has brown eyes. The allele for blue eyes is recessive. So we can conclude that both of the mother's alleles are recessive as well. The father could either have two dominant alleles or a recessive and a dominant allele since they both lead him to having brown eyes. Let's give the allele for blue eyes a lowercase letter and the allele for brown eyes an uppercase letter and see what happens if they cross. Here, we see that if the father has a recessive allele, then the chances of the child having brown eyes and blue eyes is 50%. However, if he did not have any recessive allele, the chances of the child having brown eyes would change to 100%. Knowledge of Mendelian inheritance can help us predict which traits will be inherited by offspring of all kinds of species. And it might also help explain why you and I both resemble our parents.